this was actually a good episode. It was kind of boring, kind of slow, but it was a good episode. I actually enjoyed this episode, but let's go ahead and get down to it. Jackie and Curtis. Now, Jackie, I ain't counting your banking account, and I don't know how much you make per hour or whatever. You talking about doing major renovations to a house you living in. Hotel living? Matter of fact, why don't you just go ahead and tear the house back down to the baseboards and just start all over? Just tear the whole house down and rebuild it to what you like it to be, just like Toya did. Go ahead and do that. Because you talking about this too small, I want this bigger, I want a chandelier here, I want here this, I want this bigger, I want this to go up higher like Jackie. That's going to be one hell of a bill you get. You talking about there's no budget. You got to make a budget. And like you said, you got the best of the best to help you with this renovation. They're going to give you the best of the best bill. I hope you're ready for it, Jackie. I hope you're ready to work even harder than you was before because they're going to give you a nice bill. Like I said, I understand you said you were going to start over or redo the house all over but i ain't know you was gonna be doing all this like that sound like a big old headache and you talking about there's no budget good luck with that because you might want to start you might you might want to start thinking of a budget talking about a budget curtis don't sound like he in for all this stuff you talking about um which i can't agree with him with like some of the stuff is fine it's fine like if you want to upgrade upgrade you talking about a big old upgrade you want to live like a millionaire i see jacking like i said i hope for the best with you but i think you better start talking about budgets because curtis said he didn't work too hard to get where he at now and he ain't got time to be breaking no bank over no house that you want to read a bit to make you seem like the barbie dream house or whatever but that's something like that 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 sounds like too much headache and too much work for my liking but it's your money go ahead and spend it the way you want to spend it you're gonna do it anyway he's telling curtis to shut up this is your dream. This is how you want the house to be done. Okay, Dr. Jackie. Okay. Contessa. Baby, just leave Nashville, Nashville and um, take your credits for Nashville and um, transfer them over to any um, college in, in, in Atlanta. Because now you seeing your little college idea in Nashville, in Nashville is not working out for you very well. And you see that it's affecting your kids, your kids' emotion. They acting now. You not happy with what um I forgot the man name. I forget his name just that fast. Your husband not happy. You see he's struggling. You struggling. Y'all can barely eat the um Eat breakfast before eat breakfast before y'all can run out the door, or whatever. Can tell sir. I hope you had fun while you was in um Tennessee. You might want to transfer them on over to any college in Georgia. Yeah, in Georgia. Or anywhere around Atlanta and go ahead and call it a day. Cause that was unnecessary. And I'm glad your children telling you, we know this is a good move for you. We know this is what you want to do. But like I said before, what no college is good enough in Georgia for you? I mean, like Georgia is a big state. Like any other no colleges in Georgia or around the Atlanta era wasn't good enough for you. You just had to go to Tennessee. Was Tennessee the only one that's doing this, that you want to do public help? Like, Georgia didn't have no option for you? Like, yeah, this affecting your, your um kids and this, and they lashing out, and your little girl, she angry, throwing balls at people, throwing balls at people face, even though that boy didn't deserve that because he threw, he threw the ball at you first. But yeah, I could tell, so you might need to calm that on down coming on down and come on back to Atlanta for a good. You shouldn't have left, but I understand you want to go to a good college and get your edu education. You entitled to it, so I ain't going to give you too much, Contessa. I understand you were trying to do what you thought was best for you, 
You thought everybody was everybody can handle it. Apparently, everybody couldn't handle it. Your kids are lashing out. Um, they doing things they shouldn't be doing. Your daughter lashing out. She got anger in her. You said it's affecting your life. And you see your kids not happy with this move. And they miss you. And they miss the moments that y'all used to do together. Now y'all ain't doing together. So it might be time to move it on back, move it on back down to Atlanta and go ahead and stay in Atlanta because this was a bad move on your behalf and you entitled to make mistakes. So yeah, this was a bad move on your behalf. That's all I'm gonna say about it. So Buffy, so Buffy, 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 Buffy. Buffy Simone friend. Um, I like her theme. I agree with her theme. And this is the part of the episode where we get to see if y'all really balling like y'all say y'all well, not balling like y'all say y'all balling. Can y'all less ball when y'all going shopping or whatever? So it's nice to see y'all get out of character. Well, not out of character. I'm forgetting the word I want to say. It's nice to see y'all for well, once in y'all life actually dress like somebody else or dress like you ain't uh, spent the whole rag. Or uh, spent about two thousand dollars on one outfit. It's nice to see y'all come back down the earth for a change and see y'all see can y'all actually live on a budget or dress on a budget for the for the win. And it was nice to see that y'all actually did it. Like I like when um reality shows do do this. Just like the real house of real housewives of Atlanta when they did that no makeup and no hair thing that um I forgot who threw that event, but it's nice to see y'all, y'all people and y'all wealthy selves. It's nice to see y'all get knocked back down to earth for a change. This was my favorite, this was my favorite part of the episode because we got to see y'all actually fall back down the graves, realize that half of y'all ain't got a silver spoon, silver spoon in y'all mouth, and it's nice to see y'all on a budget, and besides wrecking the bank trying to dress for one, um, for one party, it's nice to see y'all actually dumb it down a little bit, and actually dress, well, well, not break the bank and dress well, not break the bank and still look good. So it was nice enough to see y'all that y'all all did it. Um, I think Aiden might have cheated because of his shoes because I'm guessing he didn't get the, mem the memo and I guess he had to wear his expensive shoes or he went about some expensive shoes or whatever they was talking about. But it was nice to see all y'all, even though y'all are doctors and... We know y'all got the money to ball and y'all can go spend a thousand dollars on one outfit and look good. It's nice to see that y'all had to go. Um, y'all can go over the five hundred dollar limit and still look good, even though half of y'all complained about. Oh, I hope I don't break this cheap dress. Oh, this cheap dress. I hope these shoes don't break on me. Oh, these shoes only a hundred dollars. Oh, they're gonna be uncomfortable. And yes, I do like Toy and her braids. And uh, is that what them is? Box braids? I think them called box braids. Them box braids or something like that. I like Toya and her little hair in her head. I like that. Toya then cooled down now after her whole taxes thing. And I'm liking a new Toya. Like everybody else got their own personality this season. Even some of her little evil behind. And uh, we're going to talk about the Buffy thing in the, in the um, moment at um, Toya party. But it's nice to see that everybody got their own little personalities. Even Contessa. Toya, she trying out new things, and even her outfit, she wore it Buffy, um, Buffy, um, at Venn. Yeah, I told you, you could have did a whole lot. Like, I liked it. I liked where you was going in, but, baby, look like you was going to somebody's backyard barbecue, and you was going to be there. You know it was going to be hot, and you bestly dressed to keep you cool or uh, to keep yourself cool while you want to be sweating off your makeup and all that. Toya, you could have done a little bit more better than what you did, baby. Like, the outfit was all right, but we seen you dress better. On even, a, even on your worst budget, we didn't see you do something better than that. It's like, 
oh, I can't go for $500, so what can I throw on? What can I buy? And you talking about 29 20 $5 for the earring. Baby, did you shop at Forever 21? What's another one? Forever 21, uh, Spencer's, what's another one? Claire's. Did you shop at any of them? Cause baby, we know you could have touched that 500 budget a little bit. I mean, toy you, and you already got a big booty, and your and your booty was fucking out them jeans. I'm pretty sure you jeans weren't complaining, but you were busting out of them jeans, and everybody was dressed to impress, even on they love $500 limit. Quad came in with her titties out. Like I said, Quad then got a whole different type of personality. Now that she didn't got, a, now that she getting her divorce from um, I ain't gonna call the man turtle, um, uh, from Greg. She even came out with her titties out ready to play. Like everybody was dressed in the press. Um, I like that Toya and not Toya. I like that Simone and um Quad talked and they had their little conversation. They actually hugged, they actually talked, they agreed to work on it. And I also like the um who else talked? It was um Simone and Quad, they talked, and I was glad that they actually was talked and talked it all. I was happy and glad to see that. And then we meet Jocelyn Hernandez. I just can't escape her, could I? I was so happy and glad that she left Love and Hip Hop with Atlanta. Now I got to deal with her on another show. And I should have known this was coming around the corner because I saw a little spoiler alert on my Google, on my little Google search thing that tell you everything that's gonna happen. And Jocelyn didn't like somebody on the merit the medicine cast and Jocelyn and Toya get into it like Jocelyn, you can't act no Jocelyn, you can't um get along with nobody, could you? Like did you have to bring up that woman tax problem? And like Toya said, and I like the Toya answer, and I'm glad Toya didn't get into it with you, because we know Toya will tell up somebody party quicker than in a hurry, and I'm glad Toya didn't go back and forth with you. And she was a, and she was respected enough, respected for, respected for enough not to go into it with you, not to, not to pay you any attention. She gave you a good clap bag, and that's all she gave you. And then Simone grabbed her, but we told Jocelyn to basically the cooler than hush and all that. We thought that was over. Then she go to Eugene and call Toya a hoe and all that. And I, I'm just surprised and shocked that Toya didn't get in her behind, knowing that Toya already then lost her baby. Well, lost a, yeah, she lost a child or she miscarriage. I'm surprised she didn't give you all of her. Cause I was expecting Toya to give you at least a little bit more than what she gave you. Like Toya handled that with grace. Um, I'm surprised Toya went so nice on you because we didn't see Toya go at it with um, Contessa enough to know that Toya got the mouth of the soft and Toya would give you everything she got in more. I was surprised and shocked that she didn't get Jocelyn and all that. She probably was scared of Jocelyn or whatever, though, but I'm surprised and shocked that she handled herself well. Now, Toya, you could have left the comment out when you was around Simone, this how you act in front of your friends, that's your friend or whatever, that's the way you act with it or whatever. Now you could have left that comment to yourself cause you also have showed your behind at people's at win, just like they did that Halloween theme party where you were sitting there arguing and carrying on. So I was with Simone then when she said, are you really telling me this right now? Where you didn't show your behind at plenty of people's at win and show your behind like Jocelyn and did. So don't go there and don't do that in. After that, I'm glad Toya and Eugene left cause after that, can't nobody control Jocelyn. Can't nobody control her mouth. If you know her from love and hip hop and know how she act, it only would have went worse from there. And she probably would have said the wrong thing and Jocelyn probably would have been ready to fight like she on love and hip hop all over again. And after all this time, you still reality be ready, huh? You still ready to fight after all that. And Toya, you gave a good answer to her behind. Like, 
Yeah, I had a tax problem. Yes, I overcame it. Yes, we're doing good now. Maybe one day you can experience living a life of luxury and all that. Cause let's be honest and let's be real. Jocelyn, you basically set your way up to the top. Or shall I say, set yourself up to be um, a reality TV star at the moment. Stevie Jane, having sex with him, helping him kick you on the arm, um, make music and all that. He used, manipulated you, played you so. Well, we don't know Toya enough like that to say that she sets herself to Eugene. But yeah, Jocelyn, you can't talk about um, Toya and Eugene um, tax problem. At least she is living her best life. Let's see you live your best life. Let's see you um, get a house built or what that or whatever. Like, Toya, you did, I mean Toya. Jocelyn, you did too much bringing up that woman tax problem when all y'all was just doing was having a debate over child with childhood, having a debate over motherhood, and is it a job? Is it a full time job? Some people don't consider it a don't consider it a job. You don't consider it a job. Toya and somebody else might consider they might consider that being a job or whatever. That was just a little debate. Ain't no need to talk about no tax problems and all that. But then again, this is Jocelyn. So I can kind of understand why she said some mess like that and why she came at Toya so hard. Um. So what's next? Oh, yeah, Toya, um... Toya, little intimate birthday party. It was a sipping paint. She invited all the girls, no Buffy included, but Toy and Toya. But Simone broke her anyways, and it was a nice little intimate party. Everybody came on time. Everybody looked good. Toya, you could have left the little naked models where they was at because everybody in the group married besides Quad. Like, you could have brought a couple for Quad for Quad to look at. That's fine. But you know everybody in this circle is married. Now why would you come parade come parade and have naked men in front of her in front of these married women with thongs on? And no, I wasn't happy to see Carrie in her lips. I don't know why y'all keep on inviting her to stuff. And here she come with them big old lips, bigger than I hope. I ain't even what's gonna get on her. She was nice. She was cool this episode. I'm going to leave carrying her lips where they at. Though, but I was surprised and shocked that she also invited to uh, Toya, Contessa, to the event. And they talked at the event. And she said, I want to try to make it work. I want to try to be your friend. We always get along. Sometimes, well, I want to try to make it work. That was a nice little talk they had. And like I said, Toya, you was the star of this episode that you handle conflict the way you handle that with Jocelyn to you being brave enough to throw um to throw this little intimate pa intimate birthday party and tell them about your um that you lost your child or you miscarriage that's the word that you miscarriage i thought you was gonna hold it a little bit while longer but you came out with it and you basically invited everybody this party that you had conflict with and then here comes a moan inviting buffy even though they said you're gonna have to apologize to toya or say you sorry for jocelyn coming at her and snapping at her um, but you did come with gifts, and Simone, you was wrong as hell for bringing that woman to somebody else's win. If she wanted you to bring Buffy, she would have told you bring Buffy. When she was telling you about the event, you said, basically, so you're telling me no Buffy allowed to this event. So you going to make somebody be, oh, excuse me. So you going to make somebody be friends with your friends because you're friends with them. Toyo, I mean, some of my own life don't work that way. If she don't like your friend, leave your friend wherever the hell she is. You can't make nobody like your friend because that's your friend. And now all of a sudden, in this episode, she ain't the confessional. So I'm guessing she gonna be added on to the cast or next season or they're just gonna push her on in there. Cause for her to get a confessional like that, more than likely, she probably she probably one of the secret cast members or a cast member, just a low key cast member for her to have one of those. So she might be 
um, forced down our throats anyways, thanks to um, Simone. But yeah, Simone, you was wrong as hell for that, though. But everybody that they was having fun at this party, we'll see part two of this party on the next episode. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.